Well, it is baby season, the time of year when wildlife experts say every species native to our area is having their young. But many of the baby birds may have fallen to the ground, blown out of their nests by our stormy weather. So what do you do if you find one or any baby wildlife you think needs help? Jesse Degriotta reports an act of kindness may actually lessen the chance of survival. Not all baby birds are as lucky as this Carolina wren family. They were in the flower pot where their parents had built the nest. These baby cardinals had fallen out of their nest, but they were placed by the person who found them in a shoebox with shredded paper that was then securely placed back in the tree. Even though they'd been re-nested, the cardinal parents came back. 95% of the time they do, and that is true of squirrels, and baby birds who often do get blown out of the trees. Yet she cautions against trying to take care of them at home. We cannot give them absolutely everything the mother gives them. It's simply not humanly possible. Like any baby wildlife, like this little cottontail, they're found when their shallow nests in the ground are run over by lawnmowers. The mother lines it with her fur, so you will see some fur. That's the mother's fur. Just put the babies back. Released from its refuge in Candelia, these fawns, they say, weren't necessarily abandoned. If you simply find a fawn who's sleeping somewhere curled up, leave him alone. Their mothers spend hours foraging for food. Wildlife, she says, doesn't leave its young behind without a reason. Nobody wants to lose their child. And that is simply true of wildlife as well. Their mothers are devoted to them. They are devoted to their mothers. They need each other. Let's leave them together. Jesse Degollado, KSAT 12 News. We just had a baby bird fall off a tree at our Very house the other day. Yeah. yeah, we have more information on our website, kset.com, about what you should and shouldn't do if you find baby wildlife that you think needs help.